Alright, David Harry here and in this video I'm going to be showing you some of the issues that I have got when I am trying to install my plugins for the Artoria V collection onto my brand new MacBook Pro which is an M4 Max variation. Now in this video to be clear I am not showing any solutions to this problem however I will give you some notes that Artoria support have given me to try and sort this problem and those particular notes may help other people however what I'm going to do here is just to show you that I just cannot get my plugins to install. Now just to be clear as we can see here this is my MacBook Pro and maybe this is very important but I am on Sequoia 15.1 so this is the very latest version of Sequoia. Now maybe it's a Sequoia issue or maybe it's an M4 issue I don't know but that is the latest version that I am on on my M4 Max. Now as far as the installations go let me just show you here so I'm just going to go to the V Collection 10 here and I'm just going to try and install one here so I'll do the Acid V so I'll start that downloading as you can see it's now starting to download now let me just fast forward through this until it gets to the end of the download okay so this is just coming up now to the end of the download and there we go download error now this download error will happen no matter which plugin i try to download and if i go for like you know the full download for all of them the same thing happens nothing will install so it goes through the procedure it looks like it's downloaded the data but it doesn't install it now what i'm going to do here i'm just going to come up to the preferences then I'm going to go to advanced here and then I'm going to switch off silent install because this is one of the recommendations to switch off silent install. Now that obviously means that you're going to have to go through each plugin one by one and what have you. So let me just switch off silent install there. Now just for good measure I'm going to exit the actual software center and then I'm just going to relaunch it. Okay, let me just wait here until it's gone in. Okay, so I'm back in now. So what I'm going to do is the exact same thing. I'm going to go to V Collection 10 here or V Collection X and I'll do the same thing. I'll start the install for Acid V. Okay, just coming up to the end and there we go, download error. So even with the silent installer switched off, it still won't install anything. Now let me just exit the installer here. Now on the screen right now, I'm going to show you some of the notes that I've been sent from the Artoria support. Now have a read through this stuff or just pause the video. There's basically two screenshots I think here that I'm going to overlay. So have a read through these things. Now some of these options may help you. However, none of these options have helped me with my particular problems. So like I say, some of this stuff here that you're seeing on the screen may help you, but it has not helped me. Now, what I'm going to do here is just to show you, like, basically where you should be looking for some of these folders and the installers and stuff. And as we will see here, I simply don't have some of this information that's supposedly being installed. It doesn't actually appear on my system. So if I just click here onto my internal SSD. Now, what I'm going to do first of all is go to Applications. Now, inside Applications, we've got an Artoria folder. And as you can see there, there's the Artoria Software Center. So I'll come back from here. Now what I'm going to do is go into Library. Now inside Library, let me start at the beginning. Now I've got a folder here that says Artoria SC. However, from what those notes were saying, I should have another folder here within the library that just says Artoria. However, I don't have that folder as we can clearly see here. Now, if I come into the Artoria SC folder here and then into this folder, there are a number of other like files and folders in here. Now, if you are looking for the log.config file, it's actually inside here as we can see. So if you do need to get to that for any reason, that's where it's located. Now let me just come back to the root here. Now if I just scroll down here, there are a number of other locations where we should have files which are associated with the Artoria installer. So let me just come down here. Now the first one is going to be Launch Agents. 
So I'll double click in here and as we can see there's a file in here, it's a plist file which as we can see says com.artoria, Artoria Software Center Agent. So that's in the right place there. However, there's a launch daemons folder here. Now if I click into here, there's meant to be an Artoria file in here, but there isn't. Now if I come out of here, if I scroll a bit further down, if we go to the privileged helper tools, I'll have a quick look in here. And once again, there is meant to be another file in here from the Artoria installer. But as we can see, it is not in here on my install. Okay, so let me just exit back out of all of these. So what I've just shown you there is the basic folder structure for where all the installations go and all the files go. So hopefully that will help other people to locate where those files and folders should be going. And the locations for those files and folders will also be referenced to from that help document from Artoria that I just showed you earlier on. Actually, just before I forget, I am going to show you something else which may help you, although it doesn't help me because I can't actually find this particular file. So what we're being told here by Artoria support is that there are two files that we need to add to the full disk access list. Now the way that we do that is to go into the privacy and security settings within the main settings and add them from there. So let me just show you how to do this. So what we need to do is go to settings now from within settings here, what we need to do is just to scroll down to privacy and security. Now once we get to privacy and security, just tap on there. Then on the right hand side here, there's a number of options. Now from here, we need to select full disk access. So I'm just gonna tap on there. Now as we can see here, the Artoria Software Center is already added into this full disk access list. And as we can see here from the Artoria support, that is indeed one of the things that we need to have here. However, we've got this file here which says com.artoria or its full name is com.artoria installer helper. Now I can't seem to find that on my system. However, you may be able to find that to add it to your list here. Now let me just show you. I'm just gonna go onto the plus sign here and then gonna just give my security input there. Now there are a few places where I'm assuming that this file may reside. So I'm just gonna go backwards from the last place that it could be. In fact, let me just do one better here. Let me just start over. So what we're gonna do is go into the library folder here and then we're gonna go down to privileged helper tools Okay, now I'm not entirely sure if this is where that file is supposed to reside, but as we can see here on my setup, there's no file like in there which is an Artoria file anyway, so there's nothing to add. And also, these files here, which are these helper files, don't seem to be able to be added to the list anyway. So if I tap on one of these Steinberg ones, I can't actually add it. There's no way of adding it to that list. Now, to be clear, I've already done like a ton of attempts at installing this software. And sometimes the file does appear and it will appear in this particular folder. But when I tap on it, it is not one of the files that can be added to the list. So as we can see, although the file isn't even here right now, there have been other times when the file has been there, but I still couldn't add it. Now, there are a couple of other locations here where that file may be like trying to install itself. And that could be the launch daemons folder. However, as we can see in here, there are no Artoria files to add to anything. Then if I go back into the launch agents, that particular file there isn't the help file. But if I tap on it anyway, as we can see, I can't add it to the list anyway. And then the last place is gonna be back down here, which is the Artoria SC folder. Now, within inside here, there's nothing in there to add either. Now, as I pointed out before as well, there should be another folder within the library folder that says Artoria, but I don't have that folder in there. Now, if I go to applications, and if I tap into Artoria, now that there is already in the list, but as we could see, that second file that Artoria support have told me to add in, 
I just can't find that file on my system. However, like I say, this might be something that you may be able to find on yours and maybe you can add it into that list and maybe that is what is going to sort the problem for you, possibly. Okay, so that will do it for this video and unfortunately, as I said from the outset, this is not a video where I can help anybody. However, if anybody out there can help me or help others, please do let me know in the comment section below because having a look around, this is a massive problem problem for a lot of people who are trying to install the Artoria software very specifically onto Mac computers and as you can see here I'm just not getting parts of the installer being installed so there's definitely files missing and to be clear I have done this now about 20 times I've literally wasted a day and a half so there's going to be people out there who completely I can identify with what I'm what I'm saying here and also the frustration that I'm going through because this is friggin ridiculous do you know what I mean I'm like losing time and losing work because I cannot get this thing installed in fact you know what I'm going to shut me trap because I'm going to go I'm about to go on a rant because I'm really friggin angry if I've got to be honest anyway I'm going to send this video to Artoria and if they give me a positive response which results in anything that works I will definitely do a follow-up video uh, showing people how to fix this particular problem and like I say if anybody else comes across this video and has a better solution please let us know in the comment section below it will help me and I'm fairly sure it will help a lot of other Artoria users who are on Mac anyway I'm David Harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now. Now.